What's going on everyone? Big Bad Brad here, coming at you from the pen shop, located in Janesville, Wisconsin, on Highway 51, across from Quick Trip, just a block away from the pheasant farm. Anyways, those of you who may know, I was vending at the Rock River Threshery this weekend. We were selling old toys, vintage items, collectibles, pop culture, comic books, tons of Doctor Who items, and of course, pens and pencils, and we had lots of them. We had inks, papers, and much more. But when I wasn't working, I had to take a lap around the grounds and do some pen shopping. And for those of you who don't know, the Rock River Threshery is something that's been going on for 63 years in the area, and it focuses on old equipment such as tractors, engines, steam engines, they have war reenactments, rope making, all sorts of cool stuff. So if you love history and you love neat things, make sure you go there. Oh, and they have a massive flea market, of course. Well, while I was there, I bought some pens. I picked up this bag of vintage celluloid pens. There's some Parkers, Wherevers, Schaefer, a whole bunch of stuff in here. We're gonna start with this. And I got a phone call while I was out there. I actually almost missed an appointment, but my wife rushed back because she was in Janesville came back to help me out. I rushed into town and managed to pick up this massive lot of Parker pens. Tons of jotters, vectors, insignias, premier, and many, many more cool things. So if you love Parker pen or any old fountain pens, well stick around and take a look with me. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like I said, First, we're gonna start off with this bag here with all the old fountain pens, fountain pen pencil combinations, brands such as Arnold, Wasp, Parker, Schaefer, wherever, and more. Then, we're gonna do the, the big, massive tub of Parker pens. And then, at the end, I'm gonna show you the favorites, I mean, the wave head, which we are keeping for our own collection. And while I'm showing you these after I show you these I'm gonna have some boxes here to my right and we're gonna put some of these pens in it to save me some time later while I'm doing the video. Alright we'll start off with these. I'm just gonna line them up in front of me and I'm gonna pull you out tell you a little bit about them about them. A lot of these aren't in the best condition, but there's still some really cool patterns and colors. And some of them, I'm excited to look up because I'm unfamiliar with a lot of these brands. Like I know a little bit about them, but I don't know the model names and so forth. Right, they're all out of the bag, so let's show you these. First, we're going to start off with this right here. And this one is unmarked, but it's a real cool brown marbled celluloid. It may not be celluloid, but I call that a lot of times. It's a really nice marble look. Next is a, what is it called? It's a little rusted on the clip and I don't have my eye with me right now. But it has a Schaefer nib. Let's see, let's see if I can get this. But it's a fountain pen pencil combination. So you put that on there, or you're going to use your pencil. And like I said, a lot of these aren't in the best condition. There's some cracks in some of them, staining, scratching. Some have teeth marks. But I think a few of them will clean up real nice. Here, boom, the red Supreme pen before Supreme was a thing. Lever fill, fountain pen. Next, I got this Parker 45 set. This one's in real good condition. It's a mechanical pencil and a 45 fountain pen with a steel nib and gold trim. I've been kind of hoarding all my 45s lately. I got a nice little grouping put up and I'm going to be listing them soon. Here's a Waterson with a nice jade green. Lever fill nib is a straight gross. But not a bad looking pen. Missing its clip. This is probably one of my favorite of the old fountain pens. I really like the pattern on it. Kind of reminds me of uh, the Parker Televisor. 
And this is EpiPen Co. Fountain pen, mechanical pencil combination. You have a Parker Lucky Curve. A little rough, some teeth marks, discoloration on the end caps. And it also has a name on the barrel. So I'll be listing this soon on our Facebook store. Ah, blah, blah, blah. eBay store, pardon me. And this here is a Stratford fountain pen. It has a nice viewing window. And it also has an ink gauge. This one here has to be one of my favorite. It has a blue and black swirl design. It's a pencil fountain pen combination. And it's a wherever. I'm going to have to go fast with these ones. My storage is getting low. And I want to show you the, the main hall. Here we have a Schaefer school pen. I really like this design here. I am not sure on what model it is. It is maybe it's a Waltham. Waltham fountain pen. It reminds me of a snakeskin design. Here we have an unknown Girl Scout fountain pen. I believe it may be a wherever, but it's a little beat up, so it's hard to tell. Here is a wherever. And this one is a pink marbled look, lever fill, a little beat up, but it's still a cool pen. I think that'll clean out nice. Here's one I wanted to add to my collection, but it's missing its clip, so I'm going to list it. It's a Conklin Endura. I believe it's oversized. It's a massive nib, but like I said, it's missing its clip, so not for me. I don't come across enough Conklins to replace it. This is a vacuum fill from Fort Madison, Iowa. Cool pen, and this is also from Fort Madison, Iowa, and this is a Wasp. I was unfamiliar that these were made in Fort Madison. I've always known Schaefer is. And speaking of Schaefer, soon we plan on going to the Schaefer Pen Museum for a video. They just reopened. Here we have a, a pen co. This white with black veins, gold trim. Cool pen. Fifth Avenue. Made by Parker, one of their drugstore pens. This cool little confetti looking style pen. And this is a pencil fountain pen combination and it is Onward. This pen here is also made by Onward. Nice black and white marbled pen. Here is a duo fold and it's got the vacuum fill mechanism, the first year aluminum style. And I might try to clean that one up and keep it. An Arnold, nice design. Beat up warped pen, beat up warped pen, and those are Stratford and Arnold's. All right, that is all for the vintage fountain pens. Let me know what your favorite favorite ones were. And next, we are going to go on to the, the massive Parker pen. So I'm not going to go in any particular order, but I'm going to start off with the joggers. Jaguar, Janesville Jotter, some will have advertisement, some will Vulcan, just navy blue, two more navy blues, that one has a little bit of ink leakage, that'll probably clean up, and there is over 300 pens in this lot. I know. Massive, right? Blue. Blue. Most of these are in very good condition. Some are a little more beat up. Kodak. Woman's World. And I'm going to put them in generalized categories by color. Ford, Ford, Seasons Greetings, I'm telling you, there's tons of cool designs, a lot of these advertisements too, I haven't even seen, Advance, and if I've done one a bunch, I'm not going to keep showing you, I'll just say it, and I'll put it down in the pile, Ford, True Value, Big Dutchman. That's 
So if you're into advertising pens, this is definitely the lot for you. U.S. Army Reserve Medical Team. That's a cool one. Cincinnati. And there's lots and lots of college pens, too. Which are always really popular online, especially for back to school. Goya. Parker Quality Corporate Emerge. Emerge. Image. <laughs> Green Jotter, Tagamet, Navy Blue, there's another Jaguar, Solid Green, there's a nice one, Green with Gold Trim, nice Navy Blue, Parker Family Day. You, know, you bring your family to work. Show them what you do. Janesville. Royal Caribbean. Oh, sorry. Royal Maccabees Life. Blue. Another Family Day. This little black jotter. There's a black window jotter. Oh, that sound. Navy blue. Navy blue. And check that blue out. That's a beautiful blue right there. Eye candy. And this one also. Nice little turquoise. Or sky blue. Z, I'm not, looks like Zenith, but I don't think it is. Ford. Videotron. IBM. Treetop. Jotter. And if you have a business, and if you've ever got your advertisement put on a Parker pen, let me know. Explore. Another family day. Third annual labor fest. They have a little labor fest in this area every year. Explore. Wisconsin Rose Bowl. And that's Sheraton, I'm not sure. Let me know if you know what that is. Explorer. Janesville. True Value. U.S. House of Representatives. It's kind of a neat one. Harvard College. And if you're going back to school here, let me know what school you're going to. What grade you're going into. Are you going into high school? Are you going into college? Or what? AT&T. PP&L. MK Hearst Jug Bean Soup. <laughs> that one's funny. Ford. <coughs> Ink Note. This one's kind of a neat one here. This is Saudia Armaco Loss Prevention. It's a U.S. Saudi Arabian company. Genesis. Another Harvard. I'm sorry I'm going so fast, but this is a lot of pens to show you. And a lot of different advertisements, so we're just cruising along today. Season's Greetings. If there's anything you would ever like to take a closer look at, if I get enough comments, I will do my best to try to get a review of it. And some of these jotters are also misprints that were saved by an employee. This is a large employee collection, and they just recently let them go. Boston College. And... I was able to help them out, make a few bucks, and get them a new home. 
Yale. Casvonia College. Whatever that is. Another one of those. Two Harvard. We got a lot of Harvards. Two more Harvards. Another Harvard. Ohio State. Johnson Wax and University of Minnesota. And for those of you who are counting, let me know what you get at the end, because I have not done a complete count actually myself. I just know it is over 300 pounds. Exciser. Genesis. Rose Bowl, PPNL, Family Day, Ford, AT&T, Parker. We're drawing near to the end of the jotters. Some might pop back in here and there throughout the video. Just because I did not organize them. They're straight in the raw, right from the container. Flighter Jotter, Harvard, Wisconsin Badgers, Kiwanis, Believe in what you do, do what you believe in. And you may hear some noise in the background. I am at the shop doing this video. And I apologize if it bothers anyone, but. I thought this would be a good place to come out and do it. And you guys take a look. Those are the Royal Wedding sets, actually. Jotter. I wasn't able to read what this one says, but it's got some kind of crest on it. Another S one. And another Flighter. Harvard. Notre Dame. OSU. Quality Control Corp. Misprint. Another green jotter. Solid blue. White. Colonial Insurance. Blue. Gidden and Lewis. And let me know if you've ever worked for any of these companies. How long were you there and did you like working for them? Misprint. Westlake Polymers Corporation, Trigus, Reed, <laughs> that crazy bean soup pen again, Johnson Wax, Commercial Bank, Explorer, Reed Instruments, Parker, and another S. And now we are down to the last handful of genres. And then we are going to move on to the insignias. And we have an orange genre. Another great looking blue. Explore. Seasons greens. Blue. Nice chalked red genre. Black, burgundy, navy blue, SB, navy blue, and another Notre Dame. Now, on to the insignias. First up, nice black and gold trim insignia. And some of these are mismatched and have some double stamps. Some of them are error pens as you can see. Stainless gold trim. This gold trim and black matte. Matte black with auto dust with Stuart title on it is the name. Black black gold trim insignia. Gold trim stainless. And that's digital on there. Nice little barley corn insignia. 
I'm not sure what this finish is called off the top of my head. If you know, let me know, please. Matte black, and a lot of these insignias have names on them and different advertising. This is a little bit of a bummer, but not the biggest deal. And the last insignia is this gold trim. Next, we're going to slide those out of the way. And we're going to move right into the oh, classics. But this one here looks like a 75 rollerball here. Oh, yeah, that's the only one of those. Now on to the classics. Gold trim, matte black. A nice plum classic. Royal blue. Actually, not royal blue, pardon me. Denim blue. Matte black. And black and gold and beautiful. Matte. That royal blue, that oh, denim blue, did it again. Uh, and that is it. And then we have an arrow in there and a Rialto also. I'm going to slide those off. And a few more pens to show you. And then we're going to go right into the vectors because we have the most vectors. Three dust pens. And we have one slinger, two slinger, three slinger, two in the box. And now it is Vector time. You know what you to see in there that you like and that you're excited about. But the Vectors have some real cool advertisements and designs.